with my fight against uh, Harrison White and Sander Bird. This time, unlike other times, apparently I found out uh, Sander Bird from, and he's probably going to watch this. I want to expose his location. Billings, uh, Montana. He's from there. He has been exchanging messages with Caden uh, Mace, who lives in Lovelock, Texas. And if uh, Caden Mace is also watching this, and I am gonna calling these people out. Uh, this is another channel call out uh, video. And this time I'm calling both of these uh, two people out. Uh, where they're acting very toxic to me, and uh, they uh, claim I am harassing them. But uh, they were like actually uh, for uh, actually recapping everything. This leads back to December, like early December, uh, and, uh, and January uh, 2022. Uh, so where Harrison White uh, and Dender Bird were uh, targeting and slandering My Little Pony G5 uh, fans and those who are defending these people uh, who uh, aren't really uh, just uh, fans of, uh, they're just uh, defending people. Uh, and I was one of those people just defending them. I, I'm not a huge uh, My Little Pony fan uh, or uh, EG fan or uh, G5 fan. I don't really watch those, uh, never watch those. Uh, much never watched g5 only watch the snippet things to some of the youtubers out there with the summary videos uh so uh, they were like uh, in various uh, facebook groups that i was in uh, they were targeting slandering people i uh i hate people uh who uh, target and slander people uh, for any reason for any topic any time so I countered these people. Uh, I was the first one to call them out uh, and actually uh, kick them out, uh, which some other people did not have the guts to. I did that in back in March, uh, and uh, I even I uh, made uh, a separate uh, My Little Pony group uh, for uh, all fans, uh, for all generations, uh, uh, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. Uh, E.g. and some other side projects, uh, which some people actually uh, like these side projects, uh, like in my performances. Uh, yeah, I don't really go to those, cover those groups anymore because uh, you know, I just wanted to help people out, and you know, it was just you know, I like doing that. I help people, and uh, and then during those at uh, that time that. You know, Harrison White and Xander Bird were uh, doing their targeting a slandering tirade uh, in acting like extremists, and uh, they still do that. And uh, just recently, uh, last month, uh, they made a G5 uh, hate group, uh, which I mentioned uh, several times in uh, some videos already. Uh. And then Caden uh, uh, Mace, uh, he's a fella from Lubbock, Texas. Uh, He's probably watching this. Uh, so he is uh, known for uh, being a double crosser, liar, and an ex extremist supporter. And he has lied to me th like three or four, actually four times. Uh, he said that he would be a more responsive, uh, responsible admin in uh, some of the groups I uh, run. Uh, the one I started to defend uh, people uh, who have been targeted and slandered by Harrison White and Xander Bird because I wanted to help these people try to like go and in, in, uh, have a have a private uh, group where uh, they could just share uh, the content, uh, MLP content that they actually like uh, and without having uh, including G5 content uh, and not have, having to worry about uh, people targeting or slandering them because uh, you know, their opinion is different uh, and uh, they uh, don't like uh, G5 and, and actually you know, it actually uh, really worked out and and Caden Mace was uh, one of the admins in the group, and uh, once he lied, me, 
lied to me at the first time I deacted him from the uh, as an admin. And then the second time uh, I thought to let him become a moderator and he lied to me the second time I uh you know deacted him and he did him uh and he lied to me the like, third time. Uh, he, uh, the, uh, I was told by uh, some dude, uh, from a middle-aged uh, guy, uh, he was uh, lying to me. Which this person, uh, he hates me, uh, and uh, he's uh, from uh, Minnesota. This person, uh, yeah, even uh, told, told me to die. Uh, uh, Nathan, um, yeah, he is uh, a total asshole. And uh, maybe he's uh, watching this. Uh, yeah, he's an asshole too. Uh, you know. So after I found out here that uh, Caden Mace was lying, I uh, you know. And apparently somebody, uh, I think, yeah, Mago, yeah, he kicked uh, Caden uh, Mace with, uh, out uh, for uh, s snitching to uh, Xander Bird and Harrison White. So, uh, problem done. But apparently, it was uh, this uh, situation with uh, him was not over. And of course, there was an uh, extremist uh, hate group uh, against uh, G5 fans. Uh, so some secret stuff was going there. And, uh, and apparently, some, in some other uh, My Little Pony groups, uh, Harrison White and Xander Bird has been snitching and targeting and slandering so actually slandering about me and talking trash about me in other groups I am not in and thank god I am not in these groups because I am not a My Little Pony fan and uh, no I mean I'm not even uh, active in a Tom and Jerry group I'm in I am active in a Owl, the Owl House uh, group uh, every once in a while. But yeah, but I am uh, active in my music group, uh, which, you know, I like sharing music I like. And some new, new music that come, comes out uh, every, uh, every week. Uh, every weekday, actually. Uh, Thinking about it, uh, so I'm uh, normally uh, active in those groups, uh, but some spies have been working for me, uh, and uh, they sent me uh, po like screenshots of what they found about. Uh, Harrison White, Danderbird, and uh, some other uh, of the Harrison White and Danderbird's cronies. Otherwise known as uh, extremist uh, supporters and also extremists themselves. Because they also hate uh, G5 and they express it the same way an extremist uh, would express it as and an extremist. And the exact same way that I have seen with my own eyes that people from the recently the Ottawa truck rally have been bullying me and also the pro LGBT people who bully me every single year. So yeah, I've uh, had to deal with that. And just recently I found uh, this uh, message from uh, Shared uh, between, uh, well, actually in the comment section in some My Little Pony group, uh, shared between Xander Bird and Caden Mace. And yeah, I am calling you two out if you're watching this. And it looks like this. And then they call me stupid. Message continues, uh, 
And then Kate and Mace talks about some nonsense uh, that happened in some My Little Pony group that I, I recently took over. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, which uh, the, I uh, renamed uh, the group, uh, group 2 uh, after I also have my private group. And I also uh, co-manage uh, this, uh, other, this other group, uh, the which, uh, which lab with uh, some uh, girl named uh, Lavender from who is uh, in Asia and some other people and some European uh, people and some Ar Americans. I don't think there's any Canadians in there. Just one? Other than me, no. So yeah, there's like uh, some posts I uh, ended up using some uh, Sunset Shimmer uh, Post the picture I found off uh, Google Images uh, or uh, some other uh, website. Uh, you know, I think it looked pretty cool. Uh, so I think uh, I could just use it for like a thumbnail for some stuff. Uh, and then he like, uh, Katie Mace uh, went crazy on me and uh, and said, oh, you took a Sunset Shimmer and he like really hates me for using a Sunset Shimmer and he thinks uh, sun the Sunset Shimmer character and all the images that uh, actually uh, belong to him. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he had like a fetish for certain characters. And if someone uh, shared a uh, certain picture about like uh, like a certain uh, character, like a uh, My Little Pony character that he likes, which is uh, Sunset Shimmer from uh, My Little Pony uh, EG, not existing in G four, they are not connected. Yeah, he like literally flips out on people about that. I and I remember everything he said back in like yeah February March. And he was also a finisher as well. And of course he sides with uh, the inner bird. And after looking at that message uh, just last night, uh, I uh, yeah I really got depressed and I uh, went on like a sad music run. A lot of uh, Jason Ross music, uh, Len Young music, uh, Zed the Sky, Blanque, Rock Mafia. Griffin and uh, some other uh, decent uh, sad uh, music uh, EDM producers that are actually they're pretty good in there. And technically uh, I don't know why Facebook would not uh, take down these uh, comments because uh, they are literally uh, slandering me. Uh, they are cyberbullying me and they think they can secretly do it. Which I actually have like spies working for me right now. I got buddies. I mean the whole world uh, knows about you these two uh, and yeah. The fact that these two are like uh, actually secretly c cyberbullying me and uh, and I have people uh, who are working for me, and uh, they check in with me every once in a while, like um, some on some days, some on other days. I check if uh, you're all right. Uh, all of this has happened. Uh, and yeah, you know, it's a tough job uh, trying to uh, counter back at people who try to target and slander people and act like extremists. And of course, if you don't counter back and try to uh, defeat these extremists, uh, which is I am trying to do. Uh, so, again, I'm going to mention uh, Xander Bird's uh, YouTube channel. King Bowser 72, the My Little Pony fanatic. That's his account. And I've even uh, been on there myself. Never watched the videos. Just seen it on YouTube. Uh, so if people are actually watching this uh, from his channel and he actually supports this guy, uh, he is actually a, a cyber bully. And he is a targeter and a slander and an extremist. 
and he is like one of those people who are like really like trying to fuck up my life and he is like yeah, really making my mental health really worse uh, as if Black Lives Matter, pro-LGBT people, Trump supporters, Biden supporters, uh, Ottawa trap rally people, and uh, and the woke crowd uh, have uh, not really uh, made it worse for me, and and people who think uh, George Floyd was an innocent man. Although he actually died because of a heel that, you know, died of uh, getting uh, high on uh, meth and uh, fentanyl, not Derek Chauvin, which some uh, uh, some bitch named uh, Caitlin White, same last name as Harrison White, still uh, doesn't uh, believe that uh, even though I uh, showed her scientific information about that and I still hate her to this day and also uh, yeah people you know Who uh, can't accept uh, people's uh, different uh, opinions or actual facts or uh, actual truth? Which I will add uh, Harrison White, Xander Byrne, and Kay DeMace onto that list. And also uh, Alyssa and her uh, twin sister who are support Harrison White, them too, if they are watching. And to also uh, expose more, I know Caden Mason's uh, second and third backup accounts. Here's one, his second account. And here's another one. And if that is actual girlfriend, uh, yeah, wait until he finds out that Caden Mace is a uh, target, uh, actually a supporter of an extremist. Uh, Liar and also a cyber bully that she won't be happy about that. <laughs> and I will not give up until these people. Who target and slander people over uh, because uh, they have a different opinion and uh, and they actually like something that they don't like and I uh, think that everything should uh, meet their uh, expectations, which a lot of extremists uh, mentioned. Uh, and also, let's add uh, anti-vaxxers onto that list too. So yeah, let's not forget about them. And Xanderberg, Kate and Mace, I know about you. Yeah. And if you even uh, get, even try to get close to me uh, in person, yeah, I will literally punch you. I don't care if I get charged. I will. And uh, regarding also uh, threatening them, they feel like make me eat a Carolina Reaper. Let me tell you about an American man. So this, so I've seen a Korean uh, actual uh, show uh, where uh, people from different countries uh, they visit uh, Korea that uh, and uh, airs uh, like weekly. Uh, and uh, there was like a group uh, and one uh, American uh, man, uh, part of uh, some group from from the USA. She went to a Korean restaurant, boasted about uh, eating a Carolina Reaper, ordered the highest level of spiciness of a Korean food at a restaurant. The food came out of the kitchen. He took one bite out of it, 
and his mouth was on fire, and he recoiled, and his hand immediately reached for the water, and he had to drink a lot of water. And yet, I have tried the most spiciest uh, Korean noodles on earth, the Pudak 2X noodles, and I've actually tried, uh, amped up the, amped it up by eating double that sauce, so I was actually pulled out 4X, and I actually ate it, and I survived. And you two, or well, actually you three, and maybe if, uh, adding a, Alyssa and her, uh, also, uh, double trouble, yeah, sister. Yeah. Now you can handle it. And by the way, the person who actually grew the Carolina Reaper, let me tell you about this. This is supposed to be a secret, but, uh, Ed Curry, the, the grower of the Carolina Reaper, he actually had a secret drop project, uh, in case if someone tried to beat him by growing a more, even more spicy pepper, he grew the Caramel Reaper, and uh, uh, which is uh, basically a uh, Caramel uh, and uh, Carolina Reaper. Uh, so actually, uh, there's uh, like no actual car like caramel taste. Uh, it just uh, looks like the, the caramel color and it's just more spicier. And he also has this other pepper called Pepper X, uh, which is even more spicier than the Carolina Reaper. You know, just amp it up even more. On this. So this is like uh, 2.5 uh, or 7 or even uh, more spicier uh, on this. Scoville heat units and actually hot ones uh, if you actually uh, you should actually watch the hot ones and uh, with the caramel reaper hold the host uh, Sean Evans ate the uh, caramel reaper with the uh, chili claws that uh, the Danish guy from uh, who is a uh, Spicy pepper enthusiast, and they actually just revive. And you should know the Carolina Reaper is not the same as the Thailand uh, green Thai chili pepper or a uh, Korean red hot pepper or uh, even the uh, more spicier ones uh, in uh, uh, South Korea. Not that you would know uh, Korean history, and uh, you're not even uh, you're even uh, lazy to uh, not read upon it, which I do, and uh, you don't. And I've tried the uh, Pulldock 4X, which actually combine combine the Pulldock uh, 2X and 2X sauce. Because I uh, accidentally spilled something, and so, uh, yeah, spilled the noodles uh, from a one-pack, so I just combined it. I ate it, made a challenge video, survived. It's on my YouTube. And now, literally, I literally shared it in my uh, groups, uh, in several groups, about how much of an extremist uh, you are, how much of a cyber bully you are, and with Kata Mesa, and also uh, Alyssa Nomad, or, or whatever your last name is. Uh, and your sister are extremist supporters and also cyber bullies. And yeah, with Alyssa and your sister, yeah, I uh, I saw your messages. 
that you are sent that you sent to uh, people who are uh, countering Harrison White uh, and Xander Bird, saying "fuck you" and other uh, explicit language uh, contacts. Uh, well, they had nothing to do with you. I will talk to lead out of cyberbully, and I hope your and all of you, uh, Harrison, Xander, Caden. Alyssa and your sister, and basically anyone who actually supports uh, you guys. If you're watching this, yeah, you are all cyber bullies. You are all extremist uh, supporters or extremists yourself. And I am not going to rest until I take you all down. It's not over. And if uh, Her again, Xander Bird, yeah, tell Harrison why I attacked you guys again. Well, counter you actually, because that's my job. Because I hate people who are uh, targeting to slander people. So if you two are like so scared of actually uh, replying back to with the video, yeah, and Harrison White, if you actually claim that you are a rapper, throw a diss at me. Where are them diss tracks? I mean, I shot several at you, but you're not, yeah, you ain't the same as me. We are not alike. We are not alike. We are not alike. Fuck this shit, let's go.